USA Trains is always coming out with some unique and interesting products. They now have a full line of modern tank cars that are made out of extruded aluminum. These tank cars are very, very detailed and a lot of the pieces, or I should say most of the pieces on the unit are made out of some type of metal. There are die cast trucks with spinning wheel journals as well as die cast metal couplers. It also has metal wheels and die cast metal end platforms with real metal walkways. We all talk about the 10 foot rule in large scale, but with USA Trains it's the 10 inch rule because the closer you get, the better these units look. The pad printing, the details on the side are amazingly crisp and they look real. If your train crashes, don't call this number because people might actually respond. There's also lots of detail on the bottom of the unit. We can get a clear look here at the die cast trucks and we can see the springs inside as well actually work. If you take a look on the bottom, you can see the brake lines and there's also a, a valve at the bottom that's highly detailed as well. We were really impressed overall with the use of metal on this unit, but you need to be very careful when carrying it and make sure that you don't lift it up from the bottom because you can bend the wires. There's a 42 foot modern tank car. We have a 55, a 42, and these units are also packaged very well. They have a new plastic that we'll show you a little bit later on in the video. We've gotten rid of the uh, old uh, tissue paper and the plastic bag. But these units are all pretty much the same. They use the same die cast metal platforms. They have the same die cast trucks and metal wheels, and they use different paint jobs for the different types of tank cars there are. The main difference is the length, but the detail and the information and the walks on top, the real metal walkways are really amazing. They're all the same for the three different sizes. And here's the third size. It's a 29 foot beer can. These will be great for those of you who have railroads with smaller radiuses. And I could see how much fun it would be to have a train with 20 or 30 of these behind it. Once again, it has the same trucks the same compatibility with an 830 coupler for Katie can be installed on any of these units and they come in multiple road names and they also have a road number matrix so if you want to order a whole bunch of these Kodak chemicals cars then you could have multiple road numbers so they're not all just number one two three one two three one two three lots of detailing on the top as well for the hatches some of them actually open and work the detailing on the platforms, once again, is nice. And so what you're looking at is you're looking at the fact that there are three different aluminum, extruded aluminum tank cars that will be available for you. So let's take a look at the three different tank cars together. There's the 55 foot tank car. There is the 42 foot tank car. And there is the 29 foot tank car. Let's take a look at the difference in length. The 55 foot tank car is about 26 inches long, the 42 foot tank car is about 20 inches long, and the beer can is about 14.75. These tank cars weigh a lot less than I thought they would. The 55 foot is 5.6 pounds, the 42 foot is 5 pounds, and the beer can is 4.4 pounds. If you take a look, you'll kind of see that the beer can is two to one. So in other words, two beer cans are just a little bit longer than the largest one, but I think they'll be great on your railroad. As we alluded to earlier, you can install KD couplers onto these units. What you need to do is you obviously need a set of 830. It will also work with the newer 900 series as well. You have to put a little mounting plate onto the tank car. And it's actually very easy to do. It's perfectly molded so it will snap into the pieces of metal that are there as guides. And then you just have to install four small screws, make sure to have a small screwdriver, and you'll be able to then mount the 830 coupler directly onto this platform. So you just take your assembled 830 coupler and then place it on top of here and you just attach the three screws and you're done. 
Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is that you will need to uh, take off the current coupler off of the truck, and that's real simple to do. It's just one screw that comes off, and then the coupler is on a tongue that just removes easily. You may need to adjust the tongue that is left right where that screw is and there's a metal piece coming out. You may need to grind that down so it doesn't touch the 830 coupler as the wheels turn left and right. Now we're just going to leave the USA Train metal couplers because they work fine for us. So we're going to go ahead and remove that piece and then go ahead and reinstall the coupler. So that'll give you an idea how you're able to install the 830. One thing that you might do before you get started, we use some XL Medium oil to put onto the wheels so that way uh, we don't get any squeaking and they'll run just fine. Just one or two drops will do and you'll be all set to run the units. Now the one thing that we had mentioned was this new plastic that they packed the trains in and we were really impressed with it. I mean the days of tissue paper are, are history. This plastic almost has like a surgical feel to it and it won't catch on things that are attached to your tank car or other things they pack in it. And once again, USA Trains does a great job of creating custom molded pieces so your product arrives safely to your home. There's not a lot of snow in Idaho this time of year, so we were able to go outside and run our trains. You might notice this is a different railroad. That's because we've moved. Our five-year-old railroad was disassembled and now we're building a new one. You might notice this track and the way we've elevated it. We will have an interesting article and videos in regards to how to do this. It's a new way for us and it has worked great. We found that these USA Trains extruded aluminum modern tank cars worked perfect out of the box. We set them on our new track and literally they ran for a couple hours with no problems at all. So we hope you get the opportunity to get some of these for your railroad. There's a lot of different sizes, so they should be able to fit just about anybody's modern railroad.